guys, happy Wednesday. So to celebrate the Wednesday, I have to say that I failed at recording a video every day. It's quite challenging to do. Um, I didn't record a video yesterday, but I'm back at it again. I recorded a video earlier. Uh, I did a podcast episode, which was really inspiring. And I, I have a lesson that I wanted to talk about, which is kind of within the theme of what I've been talking a lot about in the videos anyway. But first, I know some of you are eagerly awaiting this. I'm coming back with another joke uh, from this book. So, it says, a man at the bank asked me to help check his balance. It wasn't great. When I pushed him, he fell right over. <laughs> um, I think that they're just getting worse, but that's okay with me, if it's okay with you. So, today I was having a, a nice conversation with a friend of mine. Uh, who's a very inspirational person. I'm keeping it a surprise because I'll wait for the episode to come out, uh, but he's been the VP of marketing of several startups that I admire and now is a founder of his own marketing. And one of the things that we talked about was when he started uh, at this great big startup that you all know, <laughs> Why am I keeping this a secret? But it's here in Barcelona and their design data collection company. And basically, he was in charge of content marketing. They had such strong virality going in the product sense that it was like the SEO was growing at a very rapid rate with all the backlinks that they were getting. And what he was in charge of was content marketing, telling a story. And we both agreed that businesses today, the way to go is to turn into media companies. So that content marketing should be more than just one form of content, right? And it's not just about the form of content that you're creating or the media, the format, I mean. So you can go written, social media, audio, video, which as you can see is what I've been starting to do now. Again, I come from a writing background. Writing has always been what I've done. And writing has worked really well for me in my career and for my clients. But when a company turns into a media company, in terms of content, it's about telling a story. And the story will have different departments and different roles to help grow your business. So you're not just here to tell a story and have fun, of course you will, but it's also to give a purpose to your business. So the purpose that your customers and all the stakeholders in your business uh, can align with, can resonate with, and of course, a purpose that your employees can align with. So when you begin to tell this story through content marketing, it's not only external marketing, it's also internal marketing. And what's important to do is take content at every part of the funnel. So I was on a call the other day with um, this guy who runs a video marketing agency who was giving me some tips. Uh, I tried to hire him, <laughs> um, but instead he gave me some very useful tips about the kind of content that I was creating. And he made a point that currently all the content, video content that I was creating was to build a community. So I'm here talking to experts, meeting people through these videos, uh, having guests on my podcast, and I'm using this as a means of marketing and a means of networking, really. Um, and for him, that was just one of the pillars of content marketing that was important. So I think that there were four, and he called it a hero kind of marketing, where that's where you introduce you and your brand and what you do and your story and your mission. And then there's, I don't remember exactly the terminology that he used, but then there was hub content, which is industry-focused, trend-led pieces. So this is where you're talking about um, being current, being relevant, doing things that help people learn and stay up to date about what's happening in the industry. And then there's what I think he called hygiene content, which is keyword focused content. So especially if you're doing content on YouTube, which I am now currently experimenting with, um, it's these long tail keyword contents. Hmm, sounds familiar because I am into SEO, right? And YouTube and videos can also work with SEO. So anyway, Tying this back to my last conversation, um, and you guys will hear the whole podcast when it's out, but with my friend, he was talking about how content is like an investment portfolio, right? 
So if you had an investment portfolio, this is his analogy. I'm going to give him full credit. When the podcast comes out, I'll mention it's him. This is not, not my words. But when you have an investment portfolio, it wouldn't be very smart to have only 100% of your investments be low risk, low return, and or 100% of your portfolio be high risk, high return, right? You'd want a healthy mix. And the content that you do should be the same. And a lot of that content is going to be different kinds of media just there to tell the story, entertain, and connect with a large part of the world. Make your brand have a purpose. So that's something for you to chew on. Uh, I'm done for my video today. I hope you enjoyed the joke. And sorry for missing my video yesterday. But uh, I'll be back on here tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys more.